Sunday, uh, Justin from Lock and Load 100%. He was sitting on a job site waiting for somebody to show up. And now it's Monday morning at 8 o'clock and I'm waiting for somebody to show up. Um, working on a couple of houses. There's a bunch of things that got to get finished before they can be inspected and the house can move forward. And uh, got to pressure test the, the water, that existing water lines that are in today. And then start figuring stuff out on that. The um, interesting thing is going on. Looks like U.S. Steel is uh, renegotiating, giving everybody raises. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like those tariffs are working. The steel industry is coming back. Um, somebody was talking about it. Um, another channel, and they're talking about Bethlehem Steel. Uh, Bethlehem Steel doesn't really exist anymore. They uh, in name only, their mills are all now casinos and concert venues in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. They're uh, pretty much completely gone. But the uh, U.S. still scattered out through Pittsburgh and, you know, the Midwest. And uh, they seem like they're hanging on. And it looks like they're going to be doing good, which is a pretty good thing. thing that's kind of always in the back of my mind when I talk about jobs and manufacturing being offshore is that the United States was always in a great position in a real global conflict because we had the manufacturing. Uh, we could produce a boat in World War II every 15 minutes when dumped in the water and sailed off. You know, we could make a, an old, an entire air wing of, you know, bombers and in a month we could build whatever we needed to build. And uh, we can't now. And it's, uh, people talk about, you know, a war with China or a war with Russia or a war with whatever. They still manufacture. And when it comes to a, a real dragged out long conflict, um, it isn't a battle of, you know, man against man, machine against machine. It's a battle of who can produce more faster. And that's when, uh, that's when Germany lost. That's when Germany lost twice. That's when everybody else loses. Japan, you, know, you, you can't amp manufacture the United States. And we're at a kind of a tricky spot where you can amp manufacture the United States. And, uh, but it was very good news hearing that U.S. Steel is, um, is doing well and they're giving everybody raises and dumping a ton of money into you know new machinery because that's a very very positive in my mind that's a very very positive uh thing um on a on a smaller note there's a place called hex hydra it's called hydra they cast aluminum and extrude aluminum um here in Spokane county um they're putting on like a three acre addition on their building. They're about to break ground on it. And that addition is going to be for making all the aluminum truck bodies that were supposed to be made in Mexico. They are coming back here. They are going to be you know, manufactured in the United States, um, right in Crisona, uh, Pennsylvania. So, you know, people can say whatever they want about Trump, but he is bringing the jobs back. He's bringing them. You know, realistically, he is bringing the high-paying manufacturing jobs back. Not to, you know, put a sticker on a package that was made in Japan for a barcode. He actually, you know, bringing manufacturing back, real manufacturing. So, that's uh, my thoughts for the morning. Y'all have a good day.